Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my spicy fish stew recipe. Guys, this is a very light stew that you can make for dinner. It's very simple, very easy to make. So guys, come with me and let's get started. To make this stew, you will need some scotch bonnet peppers, chili peppers, one whole onion, some tomatoes, and one red bell pepper. Guys, I was supposed to introduce the red bell pepper right here, but I completely forgot. I beg for your forgiveness. Please do forgive me. I later remembered and I blended and added it to the blended mixture. Please do forgive me. So if you're making this to you, make sure to add one red bell pepper and blend it with the others. So guys, thank you for your forgiveness. So I've just added my peppers into the blender. Slice the onions, add it into the blender. Cut the tomatoes, add it into the blender. Then I'll add a little water and blend. So guys, after blending, I will pour it into a strainer to drain. So now let me introduce you to the fish I'm going to be using for this recipe. So guys, I have here some macro fish and here I have some melusa fish. Guys, this is melusa fish without skin. This fish is super delicious. I love it. And also I'm going to be adding one dry fish. This is going to give the stew the fantastic taste. And here I have rosemary and thyme. And here I have nutmeg, curry, turmeric, and one chicken seasoning, and also vegetable oil. So guys, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and place my pot on the heat. Then I will add the vegetable oil. So now I will add one garlic clove, then leave the oil to heat up until the garlic is slightly brown. Then I will take it out. Add some chopped onions. Then I will add curry and turmeric thyme and rosemary stir fry for two minutes so after two minutes i will add the blended pepper mixture mix to combined then i will cover halfly to fry until it's completely dry so guys make sure to stir occasionally so it doesn't burn so guys at this point i like to add the chicken seasoning nutmeg then i will mix well I've thoroughly washed the dry fish, then I'll add the dry fish into the sauce. Mix to combine, then I will cover halfway for another 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I'm going to add some water. Then I will mix to combine. Then add the fish. So just mix a little, be gentle so you don't break the fish. Then I will cover the pot. 
bring the heat to a medium low heat and leave it to cook for 15 minutes. So guys, to get everything done fast, I'm going to transfer the pot of stew. Then I will place a pot of water, cover and bring it to a boil to boil the rice. Once it starts boiling, I will go ahead and wash the rice with cold water. I like to do this because I do not want to parboil my rice with the dirty on the rice. I will wash until the water runs clean. So once I'm done with the washing, I will drain out the water. Then I will add the rice into the boiling water. Cover and bring it to a boil. Once it starts boiling, guys, you can see how cleaned the water is looking. Then I will bring it, pour it into a strainer, then rinse the pot, add another water and place it on the heat. Then rinse your rice thoroughly to get the starch of the rice. So after rinsing, I will add some salt into the water, then add the rice. Then I will cover to cook until it's tender. So now my stew is ready. Guys, I wish you can feel the aroma that is coming from this fish pepper stew. The aroma is superb. Is so delicious and my rice is ready as well so guys dinner is ready let's go ahead and serve so I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you all so so much you guys are awesome you are amazing thank you for always tuning in thank you for this first milestone together thank you for always supporting me guys I hope you continue to support this channel Thank you all so, so much. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly hit on the red subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching.